Let's do a fun quick comparison video and it's going to be an SD9 2.0 from Smith & Wesson and comparing it size wise to a Glock 19X and we'll see how they stack up to each other. The reason I'm doing this is because it's kind of interesting you take a couple guns that you think aren't going to be very similar to each other but they turn out being extremely similar. Uh, these guns don't compete with each other in my opinion. The Glock 19X and the SD9 are in different markets. Uh, they're both very well-made guns. They're both good guns. But uh, I'm just going to compare them just to show the similarities. Now, the Glock 19X has a lot of fans and a lot of haters because of its configuration. Compact slide with a full-size frame. Glock 17 frame on a Glock 19 slide. It causes a lot of comments because people say, man, it just doesn't make sense. Some people like them, some people hate them. I really like them. I think they're awesome. I like the design. The SD9 is configured more as a standard compact gun. Uh, that's how it's marketed. But I'm about to show you here how it is very, very similar to the Glock 19X. So first off, let's put them together here. And we're going to go from the top down. And I'm going to match it up as best as I can. The slide of the... SD9 2.0 is just a hair longer than a Glock 19X slide. The width is virtually the same. Small, I mean very minute differences in the width. The chamber hood right here, everything looks good. If you move it to the side here, trigger guards match up pretty good. Front rail space matches up somewhat decently. This has more of a slanted trigger face or trigger guard versus the... Um, Glock model. The height of the slides are very similar. In fact, they're pretty much near the same height, so your, your bore axis is going to be pretty much the same on these. The grip angle is very similar. I don't know if you can see. And if you look at the grip itself, so hopefully the camera can see, there's a little bit less material on the SD9 2.0 in the back just due to how it's cut. But if you look at the front, it's right up to the size of a Glock 19X. So it's very similar. If they just re-contoured the bottom here, it'd be the size of a Glock 19X. So it's extremely similar. I mean, it is dang near one-to-one, -one, almost, as far as size. Just a little bit less material on this on the back. Um, Thickness is the same. The feel is near the same. Uh, the grip is going to be a little bit different because the angle is slightly, it's very similar, but there is a little bit of a slight difference and a little bit thinner feeling than a Glock grip. But uh, it's a very similar gun. So what's the point of this video? Well, again, it's interesting when you take two guns and you think, ah, oh, they're not going to be anything like each other and you put them next to each other and you're like, holy crap, they're not, they're almost identical. It's just different brands. Um, also, it's to give you options. Uh, if you just can't afford the 600 near $700, sometimes is what people are charging for these 19Xs, but you're wanting a gun similar in size and performance, but you're looking for more of a budget category, and SD, something like an SD9 2.0 is right up your alley. Uh, which one is better? Uh, I'm always going to go with the Glock. I mean, it's proven. The SD9 2.0 is going to be awesome, but it is still a new platform, so time will tell. Uh, I think it's going to do great, but I don't think it's ever going to beat the Glock 19X. So in any case, fun little comparison. It's funny how they're both just almost exactly alike. So feel free to post comments below on what you think.